Hey everyone. Welcome back. In this video I plan to teach you an easy way to create a realistic looking environment for films like this one. My intention of making this video is to take you all step by step process, but in an easy way. Before we start just keep in mind that this video is not about how to use Maya or Unreal Engine from scratch. Anyway let's start it. First I am going to create a basic landscape by using a plane and sculpt it as I want my terrain to be. I know many of you are thinking why I am not doing the terrain work in Unreal Engine. The reason behind this is that the area is so small that I can do mesh painting easily without creating a landscape material. Which I will show later in the video how to create one easily. And another reason is I will have better control over the subdivisions. So first I am giving it a basic shape, then I'll start doing minor detailing on this. Just remember this basic to detailed method is you need to get better results without getting confused. This reference model is not the same as Unreal Engine Mannequin. I placed it to get an idea for a hill as I didn't have the asset for that yet. I am almost done here once I finished it I'll export and import in Unreal. Now we are in Unreal Engine so first thing first let's set up a basic light system. I added this post process and turned off Lumin for now. For the first step I downloaded these three materials which I am about to combine them as paintable blend material using Quixel Bridge. Just select them in your content browser and switch back to Bridge. Now click on the setting or adjustment icon. Once you get this windows simply assign the right folder and click on create material blend. See how easy it was. Now time to import the terrain which we sculpted in Maya and assign the material directly. Let's bring it in viewport. Now I need to change the scale as you know that I wasn't using the Unreal Mannequin. Now we can adjust the material tiling or color. This process can be repeated multiple times as we progress, so no need to spend too much time on it.
I am ready to paint different texture on it. From here you can use reference images to get different variations on the terrain, just keep in mind that most of the terrain is going to covered with scanned assets. This way we can easily achieve detailed results on it. Let's paint it and blend it better with other texture, and then we will head to the next step. Here are some of the assets I am going to use for detailing the terrain. All I need to do is place these assets all over the place and create a beautiful composition. You can use reference image for this. These scanned assets will help us to get detailed results on the terrain easily if you do this step carefully. This step is the key to take the environment from 0 to 80%, so take your time. See how... See how big difference it made on the terrain, now let's take it to the next step. Time to add small details in the scene. For that I am using foliage and scatter it throughout the landscape carefully. Do the same step by step process for foliage placement. Once I finish placing these I will work on the composition a bit more, and then we'll do the lighting work.
Now it's about removing and adding things from the scene it will make a huge difference so take your time. I am also going to add big mountain mesh which I downloaded from the Sketchfab. Here you can also check out this useful plugin video on my channel for it. Let's work on the lighting and color grading. For this particular scene I am only using this backdrop and enable the lumen, but do keep in mind it's not the only option that you have to use. This can easily break, or make your scene in seconds. You can watch this another environment video, where I showed this example, and taught an alternative for it. I am using the different texture for the sky to give it a beautiful bluish evening look. I downloaded this from Poly Heaven for free. There are a lot of them, you can download for free. Let's insert it. I just noticed that the mountain color is not matching with the foreground, so let's fix it first. Now all I need to do is add exponential height fog and do some color grading. For color grading I am only going to change the exposure contrast and vignette. And in the end I'll add some snow particles and we will have our environment ready. If you like this video do check out my other environment and lighting videos. I always try to keep my videos simple as much as possible. I hope you learn from it. Make sure to subscribe and like the video and also share it with everyone. I'll see you all in my next video.